To help you best use models on Adventures in CRE, let me speak to formatting basics. And these are font color conventions that we follow here at Adventures in CRE, and many in the industry follow. Uh, the first two I'm going to speak to are universal. Uh, the next three are widely used, but in some cases there's, there's some tweaks. And so I'll get into that. Uh, but largely what we're going to be discussing today is how each one of these, uh, these cells interact with one another and how the font color helps you identify what that cell does and then track from there through other font colors ultimately what is going on in the model. So we start with blue font cells. These are our inputs or our assumptions. I call them required input because if you see a blue font cell, myself as the modeler expects that you as the user will change that cell. And so uh, likely you'll be working with one of our templates. And so we've put some hypothetical inputs in, but the assumption from our standpoint as, as the creator of the model is that you, the user, will change that. Uh, and in fact, you better change it uh, because more than likely it's not applicable to your deal. So I'm here in our all-in-one model on the equity cash flow tab. This is where uh, partnership level returns are calculated. And there's some basic assumptions here, right? Uh, we've got what type of hurdle would be used. Well, your deal structure will be different than this hypothetical deal. And perhaps you're using an equity multiple hurdle, or maybe you are using an IRR hurdle, but that is a input that you must look at and have an answer for and it will be different from the uh, the hypothetical deal and then we look at say equity contribution well the sponsor in this hypothetical will be contributing 10 percent well in your deal that likely will be different maybe it's five percent maybe it's 12 percent maybe it's 20 percent whatever that may be that's an input a required input and if you don't change it uh, or whether whether you change it or not you ought to have a reason for why you entered some value in there. Again, these are required inputs. The second formatting convention uh, widely used is black font cells. And obviously, uh, most of our cells are black fonts. And black font cells are either labels, you'll see them in headers or describing line items. But more importantly, they're calculations either calculation modules or outputs themselves. And I say calculation modules, that's where an input goes in and it goes through some process where through a series of cells, rows, columns, what have you, uh, some calculations are made and then eventually out pops some, and in this case, output, right? So as an example, this, uh, equity multiple is one of our outputs. Uh, we're solving for equity multiple. That's one of the things that we as, as a user want to understand. What is the equity multiple for uh, th this deal I'm underwriting? And that's an output that is resultant from various calculation modules, okay? But these calculation modules are driven by our blue font cells. So you see this here, total LP contribution. Well. If we take this to 5%, that now changes, which ultimately impacts our equity multiple. These are our black font cells. In most cases, never change a black font cell. Next, we have green font cells. And this is another uh, financial modeling convention, uh, but it differs some. So we generally use uh, green font cells kind of sporadically. Uh, depends on the model and if it makes sense. In the all-in-one, given the size, I found it necessary. And in this case, I use the green font cells to link to either calculations, inputs, or outputs on another worksheet. And that just tells you that uh, these items here were calculated through some uh, calculation module in a different place. And if you wanna track that back, you're gonna have to leave this worksheet, this tab, uh, to understand uh, how this string of cash flows in this case, or this value here, how they were arrived or, or how they were entered. Those are green font cells. Next, we have a, 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 a formatting convention that is specific to Adventures in CRE, and that is orange font cells. And orange font is something we introduced uh, early on, 2015, um, when, when we were just starting the website. And I was working on early the all-in-one and I kept running into these situations where I had a calculation cell, a black font cell, 
that in some instances needed to be changed, okay? Uh, or in reverse, input cells that 99% of the time, 95% of the time didn't need to be changed. And so I wanted to differentiate between an input, a true required input and an optional input. Uh, and so the orange font uh, convention was born. And again, it's pretty simple. This is an optional input. It's a cell that you ought to look at and understand. Uh, make sure that the value is what you would expect it to be. We use it sparingly in many models. We don't use it at all, but in the more complex models uh, where these sorts of situations arise more prevalent. So finally, we have red font cells. And in our templates, we don't purposefully add red font cells. Red font cells are for users. And what red font cells do is they, they call out to others who might look at the model uh, times where black font cells have been changed. And let me give an example. Let's imagine a scenario here. We have the sponsor and uh, they're getting 1.5 million roughly in distributions. And let's pretend that there's a side payment being made to the sponsor related to this deal that's not built into these cash flows. Uh, and we, but we want to model the returns uh, that that, or maybe just the the equity multiple for that additional cash flow that the sponsor is getting at the very beginning of the deal. Okay, so uh, we want it in the equity multiple. We also want it in the IRR. And so we say in this in this year zero, they're going to get a payment of five hundred thousand. Let's pretend. And so what I would do here is I'd come to this formula and I'm going to change my base formula. And I'm just simply going to add 500,000. Well, what happens? Uh, you present the model to someone else on your team, uh, someone else, pretty soon it's passed around to a few people. And unless you specifically call out to let uh, the others who are looking at the model know that this change was made, they may not, may not necessarily know. And so what we do is we change this cell to red. Okay, now you'll notice this became an error and that's because we don't have a negative cash flow in time zero. So let me make this smaller, just keep this clean. Let's call it 200,000. Okay, and now we have uh, this additional cash flow in that year zero, the red font signals to everyone else who's using the model, hey, that cell was changed. Now keep in mind, if you ever wanted to change the cell back, most times it's a matter of ch grabbing the cell next to it with the same formula and just copying over and we can revert to what we had before. Um, in this case, we use our red font cells. So that's basic formatting rules and real estate financial modeling specific to models on adventures and CRE. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out and thanks for your time.